Today I want to talk to you for a few minutes about Social Security disability payments and the relationship to a disability insurance policy. As you're probably aware, most long-term disability insurance policies that are issued by your employer, which are governed by ERISA, have a clause in them that allows your disability insurance carrier to offset your disability policy with any payments that you receive from Social Security disability. Now if you take a look at our website, you'll see that we get a lot of feedback and a lot of comments from disability insurance claimants who are actually surprised or don't think it's fair that a disability insurance company can offset their monthly payments with Social Security disability payments. Now, I will tell you that I don't think it's fair, but 99% of the time it's something that the insurance company is allowed to do. And the reason that they're allowed to offset your benefits with Social Security disability payments is because your disability policy has specific language which allows them to do this. Now, if you take a look at your policy, you'll see a section of your policy that says offsets. And when you look in the policy, you'll see where it says, we as a disability carrier have the right to deduct your payments for the following sources. And one of them will specifically say Social Security disability payments. Let's take it a step further. In a lot of the, the questions that I get, they say, look, Claimants say to me, I understand that they can deduct for my benefits, but why are they also taking for my child's benefits? And the reason that they're doing that is because of the fact that your child is receiving Social Security disability payments as a result of your disability. If your child was receiving Social Security disability payments because of their own disabling condition, then certainly the disability insurance company would not be entitled to an offset. But because of the fact that your child is receiving disability benefits because they're a dependent on you, then the disability insurance company is able to take the total amount that you receive from Social Security and deduct the full benefit. Now, I do have to tell you, there are a few cases around the country in some circuits where the court said that a disability insurance company could not deduct for benefits that were paid to a child. And in those specific cases, the reason those cases came out that way was because of the fact that the disability policy did not have language that specifically said we're going to deduct for your Social Security disability benefits and we're going to deduct for the, the, the Social Security disability benefits of your child. So if you have a disability policy that doesn't specifically say your disability benefits and disability benefits for any dependents, then you may have an argument that the disability carrier cannot offset your claim. So. If you take the time to look at your policy, also I encourage you to take a look at our website in the Frequently Asked Questions section and take a look at the overpayment section. You'll see a lot of potential, a lot of disability claimants have asked all kinds of questions to our law firm and to me about Social Security Disability overpayments. And if you still can't find the answer you're looking for there or you're not happy with the answers that you're finding, feel free to shoot us an email, contact us through our website or give us a call and we'll be happy to see if we can help you.